Hello and welcome everyone. This is Blackadder and Blackadder's Place. Welcome to today's stream. And yeah, well, as is in the title, I'm kind of a bit tired after dealing with all the things for the upcoming Age of Empires 2 Rise of the Rajas Grand League. So I'm not really feeling like deciding the fate of whole peoples and the whole Europe. And for example, Crusader Kings today. So I'm gonna be having a bit more of Kingdom Come Deliverance today. As this feels like a game that I want to engage with and will be having fun with, so hopefully they will be having fun with me. Alright, so we might continue. And if I remember correctly, we were in the middle of a quest, finding a cure for one of the... I don't know, sick people, how to call them. He was kind of poisoned or something along those lines from the Sosa Monastery. And I think I actually need one more Wormwood. And I cannot get it from Brother Nicodemus, because apparently I cannot take anything from him anymore. It was apparently possible only when I was going for the quest for Mercoyeri. For some reason. So I will have to find it somewhere, and... I right now don't remember where it actually grows. So uh, that's gonna be a bit challenging. But there we go, we're starting at about midday, or actually 9, that's nice. Yeah, I remember going to sleep quite late, about 3 or 4, when I was coming back from... A little engagement and everything near Rovna. So I went for a shorter sleep. Alright, so there we go. We are a bit overburdened. We'll have to apparently sell a few things. We don't need the torch. But what do we have to eat? Apple snow and yeah, I screwed a lot of food in here. The cheeses and everything that will need to be put off, thrown away, all of it. <laughs> I have to be really smelling pretty bad. All things considered, having all the spoiled meat, especially, that's gonna be smelly. <laughs> but apparently it's all countered by all the sages that I'm having. And I'm having even the flower power in there. And a bit more charisma, okay. And a warm booty. Yeah, I'm having only one. I need a second one. For the recipe. To help the guy in the monastery. So that is... Something we'll have to actually somehow find out and find somewhere. But nourishment at 60. Okay, we need to kind of keep an eye on that. I'm gonna be equipping the shield as well. Uh, so I've got the to want to use the perk for the good diet. That's a bit useful for me. I'm kind of not having enough strength and agility and whatever. It's actually giving strength and vitality, I think. But the strength is important for me, so I will have to buy some stuff from the innkeeper. Oh, from the maiden. Do I actually want to put something in the trunk? Because I got Milanese grass last time around. Then I noticed. <clears throat> and it's 2028. 20, and I think actually that the Gambeson, or rather the Brigandine, is pretty much the same. Here it is. Charisma 16. Milanese grass is having 16 as well. It's pretty much the same. How do I look with the Kiras? Hmm. Kinda shiny and stuff, but I'm kinda liking a bit more. A bit more actually the Brigandine. For some reason, kinda seems better to me. So I'm gonna guess I'm gonna be selling the Milanese whatever thing. <coughs> Together with plenty of other stuff. And I do remember that I actually took us here in Sazava. And then is it something more? Yeah, I need to do this, then go into the church. Uh, otherwise, in God's hands, yeah, that is actually the herb. Get Philip Artemisia. For which I need two warm boots and one extra flower that I have. So only one extra warm boot to find somewhere. And game meat, I would probably have to buy somewhere, I guess. Okay, so how about you actually give me something for a breakfast? He's having only four meat, so I need a hundred. So how the hell am I supposed to do that? It's maybe like fell in one of the deers, I think. It could be good enough. Right now, a few pretzels, it's gonna be fine. 
two pretzels for us and we're gonna be heading into town so we're gonna be buying something from a baker so it's gonna be all right <coughs> Let's eat the pretzels. We are at 71, that's good. Yeah, I'm sure he will. Alright. So, where do you have a spot where you throw away all your junk? I think actually I couldn't find it here anywhere. I have to look for it somewhere else and then maybe some warm wood here. I think it should be the white flower, something like this. It's a valerian. Of course a lot of sage. This is nothing. I think in, if I'm not wrong, it could be actually growing somewhere in the woods. But I really don't know. I will I will try to actually find out right now on Google <laughs> what it actually is. Wormwood. Come on, Wormwood, how does it look? Ah, oh, alright. Well, that can grow everywhere, anywhere then. <laughs> okay, and it's actually in Latin, Artemisia Absinthium. Alright, now we can understand why actually this should be clear in his in arts. <laughs> that will be burning everything away, Absinthe. Okay, so we're pretty much making Absinthe for him. Okay, <laughs> that's solid. That's pretty solid. So is that like if it grows in forests and something? Uncultivated arid ground, rocky slopes, edge of footpaths and fields. Alright. Okay, so right now I have kind of idea where it could be growing. So like... The kind of edges like this with stones. We could maybe find it. On spots like this, maybe slightly more like this one. This might be tricky because I kind of have to hurry up with it because I'm very, I'm, I'm really thinking this is gonna be a time quest because the guy is poisoned. If I don't give him the antidote, he obviously. <laughs> gonna die of poisoning if I don't help him fast enough. So like... I think I'm probably gonna give up looking around just here at random places. This eye bright, similar but... No, it's just what I'm looking for. And just looking into the gardens of the monastery. I will be assuming they will be having that one. Uh, and in that case I should be also picking up pebbles of course. Come on, boy. And let's head basically across the road here. Into the monastery gardens. I hope they're not gonna be really unhappy with me if I pick, pick one up. Or pick one up. That, yeah, that's gonna be a problem because right now I'm having quite high herbalism. So if I pick one, or rather click on one flower, I'm gonna be picking up like the yeah. whole patch. <laughs> Pretty much. Ah, that's just a poppy. Yeah, that's just a white poppy, okay. These are normal edible flowers. Still no idea what this is. This red thing is. a lot of mint that I have in here. That 
that's a Valerian patch. So I'm kind of hopeful they might be having the flower that I'm looking for somewhere around here. Apparently nothing, sorry I'm trampling all of your <laughs> hard grown flowers for you, but yeah well, I kind of need only one. But I kind of need it badly because I need to help you cure one of the guys and he apparently needs absinthe for that. And I find it kind of ridiculous if I had to buy it actually from Nicodemus. I'm not sure if he actually even sells. That, that's gonna be an idea how to do it as well. Uh, that would be slightly, I don't know, kind of... French, to say the least. What are you doing here? A lot of flowers, but absolutely none of the variety that I need. Alright, give me Wormwood, please. Please, please, please. At this point I'm pretty much aiming right now already to Brother Nicodemus to like, just really like buy it from him. Uh, that was... was it just the nettle? Probably. Oh, there it is! Yes! And it's actually why it is yellow here. It's supposed to be like white based on the picture or something along those lines. So whitish or... I don't know, something like that, but doesn't really matter. Oh no, it actually maybe is, oh yeah, it actually is slightly yellow. Right now looking at the real life picture, but in the game it's looking slightly different. Could be guessing that it's actually white here, but it should be actually yellow. It should be yellowish, so that's... Okay, but there we go. That's exactly what we need, second warm wood for the recipe. So we can go and cure him, nice. Nice indeed. And then there's another quest to help the dude who is gonna beaten up. But for that you'll apparently need herbarium because you need to find a proper purple flower. I think there are a few of those. Thistle is a bit of a purple. Then Comfrey is a bit purple. And I don't remember if there's actually one extra that is purple in the game. Well, Sage is obviously purple. Yeah. So, maybe that... Maybe you could be happy with the Sage, I don't know. But I would kind of like to... Really control what I give him, or how to control. Like, be sure what I'm giving him. So it actually really helps. But I'm glad I was able to find it warm wood. Really glad about that one. Let's go do a bit of alchemy in the early morning here. Or oh, yeah, early morning. Already getting kind of late-ish. Uh, let's check on food 68. Yeah, I need to keep keep an eye on that, as it may be potentially a problem. Okay, is this still? Yeah, it's still stealing. Would be still stealing. Henry, I'm glad you came. Well, that's good for you. Okay, so let's read, and I do have it somewhere. On some paper here. Okay, so it's gonna be sage, water, and boil, right? You need spirits, two handfuls of warm wood, and one handful of sage. You have plenty of sage. Drop in the sage and boil for one turn. Grind the warm wood. Drop the warm wood in the cauldron. And cook for two turns distill. And we should be putting it into spirits, right? Yeah, I can see warm wood. This is right now white. But actually it flowers yellow. This is kind of what confused me a bit. Right. Uh, yeah, we do have enough herbs for that. 
So in that case, inventory, Sage and Warren Wood. Okay. So let's find spirits. That looks kind of strange, but anyway, we put in Sage. Boil for one turn. We take wormwood and grind it. Into mortar. And do we like put both of them there at once? Probably. Okay, that's a first for me. That's a first for me. I haven't ground anything yet. Right, and put it in them. Okay, that animation <laughs> didn't really work as expected, but it's alright. So right now, bellows... For two turns, alright. That should be right now good. And this still. And this still. So is that like already done or should I? Y you, you still. No, I cannot use this. Okay, so it's probably gonna be good. It's probably gonna be done then. Let's see if it works, because if not, then I've just wasted two Wormwoods that, that are gonna be hard to find. <laughs> oh. Okay, I probably screwed up then. Because it didn't give me any message. That's not good, because... Okay. So apparently didn't... Oh yeah, I screwed up. Damn, that's bad. That's bad, because I will have to get two more Wormwoods. So what the hell did I do wrong? Yeah, it probably was really something with this distilling at the very end. Yeah. It's probably that's probably what I messed up. Yeah, most certainly. Most certainly I should have like stilled it somewhere, but how, how does like that happen? I don't know. Right now I apparently cannot do it anymore. No, oh, that's not good. Okay, I couldn't really use the still. So how exactly would that be used? Yeah, that, that, that really wasn't an option how to use it. So, like... Hmm. Bench. Well, but anyway, I need to get two more Wormwood stands. So, can I, like, get from you something? Uh... Yeah. Well, okay, let's get two from you. It's unfortunate, but... Yeah, with how I was looking for that, it's probably not gonna be that easy. 
and it unhappy that you want to that you wanted me to actually pay for all of that. But I can I guess what can we do? And be haggling for that. So, so let's attempt it again. Just make sure I read it correctly. You will need spirits, two handfuls of warm wood and a handful of sage. Drop in the sage and boil for one turn. Grind the warm wood. Drop the warm wood in the cauldron and cook, cook for two turns. Distill. Yeah, the distill. That's definitely something that we should have done. But that, that really wasn't an option to use this. No. Can I guess? Good luck. Drop in the sage. Just now thinking if. I could maybe use the unknown potion right now to somehow distill it or whatever. But it doesn't exactly seem to be the case. Uh, okay, so right now Q. And pour it for one turn. Now we can already take the form wood. For two turns, all right. Okay, that should be enough. So how do I like right now use the still or something? Because I don't have any options anywhere. Files, water, wine, oil, and the grass pestle. I cannot really use the still here. So like. Uh, how am I supposed to resolve this? Maybe file and put it on the still. Yeah, okay. All right, so that's the how we do it. All right. So, pillows, I guess. Okay, so this is how you still. Okay, so that's I, something I didn't know. But I now learned. I need to take the vial, the file, and put it for the distiller. Alright, and right now. Yep. More? Yes. Yeah. Good. <laughs> nice. Second time around it actually works. So all right. We screwed it up. We should have distilled it first time. But right now we're fine. We have prepared a white solid spirit. We have prepared absinthe for him. Another potion can be well 
probably gonna be quite nasty if somebody were to drink that. God alone knows what good or bad it can do. Well, it's sage and wormwood, so it's gonna be kind of undistilled, undistilled uh, absinthe. So not sure if it's gonna be any good. So we are looking at not this one. Uh, who actually wants that? Where do we have it? Artemisia potion. A bitter herb liquor that will put strength in your blood but also bewilder your eyes with strange visions. Your strength and warfare skills are skill are increased by 5 for 10 minutes. Well, it's gonna be enough to heal him apparently. Not too much alcohol, only 13%. Okay, you're waiting a while then. Or it's like while this, or it's probably I can do something else in the meantime, it seems like. Okay, which means. We're down to potentially to get in the food, which is gonna be difficult. And the healing herbs for Shemek, which requires us to finish the herbarium. For which we need a lot of things, and especially the old book, which is something I don't have, really. I'm missing a lot of things here. Definitely missing Belladonna. Right now I'm missing Wormwood, obviously. And kind of right now I would be liking to put it in, inside my inventory because it's really getting kind of difficult to keep track of what I have and what I'm missing, what kind of flower. So I just put everything that I have into inventory. Dandelion 1. Yeah, that's from my <laughs> cleaning of the patches times. One nettle, one poppy. Sage, we have plenty in there, sheepskin. And John's sword. Thistle, now the one is gonna be fine. And Valerian. And that's everything that I, that I have. Okay. I'm gonna be looking for all kinds of flowers that we are so far not having. So nettle, we are having, we are missing herb berries that's usually found in forests, from what I remember. Wormwood, oh actually we have everything almost. We are literally missing only herb berries, belladonna, that's a problem, and wormwood. Belanara we could be potentially buying from the guy, but I kind of don't want to buy every anything for this. I would like to really find everything from here. In which case, at this point, we are going to be selling things. Okay, so Horsey, pretty much overburdened. Let's put what we want to sell on him, rather on us. Shield is at 100, okay. Inventory, dualist we keep. Arkhengam Besson I want to keep as well. And he's really overburdened, and from what he is overburdened that much. It's 10 kilograms the Gambeson. He's having 5 kilograms of marigolds. Could probably deposit that. We also definitely want a few bandages into our into our inventory, so let's put the best ones there. Those. In case we need them and 
and 5 kilograms of nettles. Mm. Yeah, the heights are kind of heavy. Okay, can I just head to town? And I'm also gonna be stopping. Or do I have a boat to sell? I don't think I have actually a boat to sell. In which. Oh, one. Okay, so human boat that's gonna be sold to the guy right here because he's the like only one who's actually buying any boats. Yeah! Even though he's not gonna be giving me the best price because he doesn't really like me, it's still gonna be good enough. Good health to you. Farewell. Okay. Oh. Human boat to be sold. Heavy shield. Yeah, I'm just gonna be giving you the bow, nothing else. Milanese, how, how much would he actually pay for that? 200 and it's worth a thousand more. Yeah, he really doesn't like me too much. Let's talk about the prop. Well... How much you give me like 60 at least for it? What do you say to this? That's too much. 62 is good enough. I'll go for that. That is good enough. Yeah. And we should be also maybe talking to. Actually, no. Seems like that I actually don't need to talk to Miller Simon. Somewhere here, and it seems that the quest is actually over because we have found already what we needed to from other sources. All right. Yes, it's gonna be a funny quest. But anyway. Yeah. Let us go down. Yeah. Okay, and if we find a small flower with like beady yellow small small flowers then that is gonna be something that you want because it will be warm wood this is not it and then the herb paris and belladonna that's really i think both are actually in the forest both of them so it's gonna be maybe a bit difficult to get i remember that belladonna is also found in a few forest gardens yeah. don't know exactly which ones right now of course but that is what maybe one day we can find somewhere and maybe take it from there. But yeah, not really of the mind of maybe stealing from somebody else's property too much. So I'm not sure, maybe I'm gonna be ending just buying it sometime. But buying it from Brother Nicodemus himself seems kinda stupid. Yeah. So, not sure. Okay, right now let's go to the armor master here in town. Armor master here in town and then we're gonna be heading towards a baker. So where is a baker here? That's a tailor. There he is, right behind me. Okay. Because you will need to buy at least a bread or something along those lines to have something to eat. <laughs> That's a lot of feathers. Come on, Master Ota. How much money do you still have at this point? Because we've already drained you quite a bit, 1.6k, that's alright. So Milanese Kiras. 
male coif uh, 11, 14, 8. Yes, it's going to you. Riveted pauldrons. That's also to you. Open bassinet. 13, 13, 5. 15, 15, 6. That's really... The kettle helmet is really one of the best finds I could find in the relatively early games. Really good. As all the rest are kinda crappy. Charisma 8. Charisma 4. It has no charisma because you look like kinda stupid, but... <laughs> it's really good protection. Okay, open bassinet to you as well, and that might be just about it for you. Also interested in the knight's spurs. It's kinda nice and fancy thing, so I'll just give it to you as well, why not? Let's have a word about the prod. Well, so we... how much can you give me for that? Like, it'll be kind of like in 900 for that. How about Is this 880 enough? or 890? That sounds pretty. 890 is good. Well, that's a decent price. Cool. Cool, 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 and I don't think that we actually need to repair anything. We have been repairing before, just basically the last time we were here, so I th think that everything, everything should be reasonably fine. Everything should be reasonably fine. In which case... What is this yellow? Is that what I'm looking for? No, that's absolutely nothing. Alright. Okay. <laughs> I was thinking that maybe you could be getting things done here. Quite easy. Oh, there is one boot, yes. Thank you. Exactly what we need. So right now only her Paris and Belladonna are missing. Good. And some book a bit later. Okay, let's head to Baker. And since I think that we are already Pretty much at midday, right? Oh, well past. I'm gonna be getting some... Getting some lunch. Alright, so let's have a look. There's gonna be some bread for us. I buy two, probably only one, because lately it's going quite bad, and I'm also having a lot of other things that I find actually from bodies. <laughs> yep, so don't exactly need it all that much. Uh, that's quite a few, let's not even for that. Having plenty of money, so I just make everybody make a few more coins and groceries. And do like have a dump somewhere here. Or maybe a few piggies that I could be keeping a few of those. Foods that I don't need anymore. No, we apparently don't have any pigs. So yeah. <laughs> I'll have to find some other place where I'm gonna be just putting all my junk. Yeah, let's just head basically across the road. Ah, hey everybody. Thanks Magic for the host. <laughs> I'm gonna be having a bit different game than Age of Mythology right now. Where is the tavern wench? Is she like not doing anything here? Oh, <laughs> she's really just basically not even watching after the customers either. Yeah, this is RTS League most definitely. <laughs> So we are at 62, so some lentil soup or mesh. Mesh is having a bit more. So let's just buy one of those and 
And we are here. Might just as well go with do it with one bread roll extra. Yeah, let's not eat something that we haven't brought in through in. That's usually not very nice to do. Yeah, just get up and get me my meal, you wench. Okay, so where do we have our soup? There it is. And one bread roll. It's gonna be there. Okay, 78 nourishment. That's gonna be quite fine for the rest of the day. And we are pretty much done with the simple things here. I just need to sell the shield. I think. There was maybe an axe to sell as well. Yeah. Ow! <laughs> right into the signpost. I want pebbles to get from out of there. Damn. Yeah, now with this game definitely is quite fun. Definitely really is. If you enjoy like medieval times and something along those lines. This game is really good. You need to be prepared for a few bugs here and there, but kinda what game doesn't have them. Especially if you compare for example with Skyrim, which this game is compared quite a bit. Kinda was way worse than it ever was, so God let's just sell him a few things here. Uh, uh, heavy shield, yes. And heavy battle axe, I actually don't want to sell that. Yeah, that's one that I'm keeping. All right. 71. How about like you give me Let's 80 have a word for it? About the price. Well, we can try it. That's What do you say to this? 76, 77 is probably going to be enough. Huh? 79, good. Very well. I agree. And that means that this is probably done, so we're gonna be heading somewhere into our adventure. Ah, the cure is done. Good, and we got alchemy level. So we're gonna be heading to the monastery, where we have the poor soul. That was actually hiding amongst the dead for a bit too long, and got sick out of it. We had to prepare absinthe for him to clear his inarts. <laughs> so we succeeded on the second attempt, because it didn't really find out properly how to distill. Only for the second time I did, so let's see how he's doing. And General Elfried, I can tell you right now that we are gonna be hosting as RTS League with Aeol Destroyer Clan Tournament in, well basically in no yeah. time, just gonna be right now working on it to pull it up. It's gonna be a Clan Tournament short one in a special format. And after that is done, it's gonna be like maybe taking a month, really not, nothing really long. Then we're gonna be heading into classical Age of Mythology Titans Clan League. So, plenty of tournaments going on, especially together with the other ALMTT tournament right now going. What? What happened? We brought you back to the land of the living. How? How long have I been unconscious? For a long time. Your friends have left. I have to find them. Rest now. You're going to be very weary for the next week or two. You'll find your friends. They probably ended up in Ratai like most of our folk. Well, all right. And Henry? <laughs> hmm? <laughs> Greetings. Thank you. What are you doing? Oh, calm your titties, Johanka. I'm just helping people, you. And you as well. Come on, get out. Okay, so this duty is done. We are down to only the last one. For whom, unfortunately, I need to finish another subquest. So, it's gonna be better there a bit. And then maybe a lot of food, but I'm not really sure, certain right now how I should be getting that. Okay. Be with you. Uh, the carpet on my horse, those are actually colors of my lord. 
of my liege lord. I'm having uh, the same colors on me. Oh well, he's not really well. On this side, it's gonna be seen a bit better. Those red and yellows, that's the same color that I'm wearing on me. That's my Waffen Rock as well. And that's, these are the colors of the Lords of... Is it Lords of Skalice or Ratai? I think of Skalice, because I'm in service of Lord Ratsek. So it should be from Skalice. So basically, yeah, I'm, a clan, I'm in a clan. <laughs> Pretty much. Okay, so what are we gonna be doing next? We need to wait till evening to deal with some brawlers at the bottom and then follow up with the mercenaries in the church at night. Okay, we don't have too much time. Uh, so, do we have something else to do in the meantime? Well, this is, this is gonna be probably taking a bit because finding Belladonna is gonna be extremely difficult. It's really rare. I'm really halfway thinking I might really have to buy it. Rather than find it, even though I would like to make make my own herbarium from all of the flowers, masquerade—that's a kind of stupid quest a bit. We have the dog skin, cool things we can buy. Animal teeth, get raven feathers. No, we can kind of get all of this. But I should be coming to Rattaya to talk to Feyfar about the silver mines. Yes, that they are still working. And apparently somebody is stealing King's Silver. And then we are having this one that's gonna be to town back. Uh-huh. Boar meat. I don't think I have actually been able to get it anywhere yet. I will have to get some quest how to actually really go and do some hunting. But problem is that you cannot really go hunt on your own. You are gonna be poacher and penalty for poaching is hanging. So <laughs> not exactly what I would want to do all that much. If I'm caught with like a boar meat and deer meat on myself, probably gonna be gardening some attention. But I'm right now looking to probably go into Rataya. Either Rataya or Tamberg. But at the same time, I also need to stay to here. So, what is the time? 1617. 1617. It might be kind of enough though for the brawler. So, let's have a look. Maybe I can do that part of the quest. We're gonna be getting a bit of a stutter. That's especially in Sazava and Ratai. Those two towns are kind of strange in that. Oh, well, sorry about that, but let's make it as short as possible <laughs> to get past the town because we don't have any business with any of the people here. Not even with the pillory yet. Oh, that was straight into him. <laughs> straight into him on a horse. Definitely a man of steel that he didn't even flinch. Oh, there are a lot of piggies. Okay, so I can probably dump my crab here with you. You piggies, you eat everything. How would you like some, for example, apples here? I'm gonna be getting apples. One apple, one bread here, or two breads. Hmm. Have a feast, piggy. Have a feast, and you're gonna be getting the rest here. So that's another bed, bread for you. 
but are we gonna be making you like cannibals and whatever? Cooked red deer venison. That's not a piggy. That's a venison. So yeah, I'm gonna be giving you that and the rabbits as well. You're gonna eat this and pretzels. Okay. Are there more piggies here or only the two of you? It's like that maybe only two of you. Yeah, yeah, venison is dear. I, I was just thinking that if I'm having some pork or something along those lines, I was having some pork ribs before, but it seemed kind of strange to be giving it to pigs <laughs> so that they are like cannibalistic. <laughs> That seems slightly strange, but I probably still have that somewhere. Okay, so you get the pretzel and the given is as well. That's another one. And I've probably already thrown it away. I, I had some spoiled bacon, I think. And you can also get the cheese here. Each of you are gonna be getting one cheese. No, oh, she's already eaten that. Oh well. She's apparently enjoying herself. <laughs> okay. So that's all the bad food right now gone. Nice. Yeah, I know that pigs will eat anything. It's no no mistake that in mob movies and such something like that you are having a body thrown to pigs because they eat everything, including the bones. They are really really eating everything. Oh well there are some few more here. Next time. Next time, girls. But anyway, they should be somewhere here, the boys, making the noise. Maybe I'm just a bit too early still. So we'll probably just wait for them, I guess. And I will have to try to solve that in some kind of non-violent manner. Because there should be about four of them, and if they all decided to actually gang up on me, then no matter how fancy armor I'm having, I will be kind of toast. Okay, let's let's probably wait here. Oh no, I want journal. So take care of the brawls who meet in the evenings behind the tenant's house. Yes, it's exactly here. I have seen them here before, so kind of guess. Let's just sit, or maybe do I need to eat dinner? Seventy-six. Seventy-six. Hmm. Well, that's not there. Let's just basically sit down and wait for them. Or is that like him already? Oh! Okay, that's, that, that seems like him actually. <laughs> so it, I'm here exactly at the correct time. This is probably gonna be the next guy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, they're coming here. Okay. I'm exactly in time actually. Okay, so let's wait well how this is gonna be developing with you boys. If I'm gonna be able to intimidate them. Some weapons? No. No. Okay, so it's gonna be probably fine. No weapons yet. So that's good news. Because in that case they can quite easily taste my <laughs> bailiff's what is it mace what is it called bailiff's mace yes yeah, they want to be too cheeky on me oops didn't want my torch let's put out the shield back so that we don't forget if it really does come I have to fight <laughs> stump, punch, <laughs> yeah, they have a nice name, so punch, stump, lanky, and weed. Let's talk to weed, that's God be with probably seem to be fun. Oh, so what happened with the tanner? I heard you gave him quite a beating. It's his own damn fault. Really? He just came to tell you to go elsewhere. That's what he told you? Bollocks! He came of his own accord. It was him started the fuss, after he'd lost all his money. 
He really tried to have a go. I wouldn't think he'd have it in him. He tried, but he didn't have much luck. He does pack a punch. But landing it in the right place, ha! I'm not surprised he's got no children. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, so I'm I heard that someone was already asked about this myself, even though I know where to go. Do you know anything about that? But maybe some more no, details could be. But I'm always the last to hear of anything like that. I'll ask Punch. He'd know. Alright. Let's probably talk to all of them then. And one of the knights such as you takes an interest in me. Why did you thrash the tanner? Because he came by one day, lost his money. And then started on about how we cheated him and ought to give him back his coin. Mm. He was a right pest. Okay, he so he is a douchebag, it seems like. Stop making a racket behind his house. Well, that's sort of true. But he didn't start complaining until he lost his money. Before that, it didn't bother him. Huh, okay, so you apparently have to investigate a bit. I heard someone was looking for and talk to him again. To do, anything. do you know anything about it? Maybe. I work in the quarry. And they're always looking for extra hands to replace them that's got something broken. Uh, that's not what I meant, but thanks. <laughs> Good luck to you. After um, one more guy, Bitwix so here, that's a new one. What he went wasn't on here with the before. Tunnel? When things got lively, I wasn't here. The others were, though. Go ask them. Sure will. I've heard that someone's looking for men willing to do anything. Do you know anything about it? If I knew you better, I might tell you. But as things stand, may the Lord watch over you. Okay, keep it to yourself then. I hope I can be of help to you, Knight. What happened with the tanner? Nothing out of the ordinary. He came to test his metal like everyone, but he couldn't even get past young Weed. <laughs> then he started whining about getting his money back because we tricked him, so we threw him out. He came back a few times after that complaining about all the shouting, ordered us to bugger off elsewhere. But you didn't? No. And when he got really annoying, he got a punch in the mouth, and he hasn't been back since. Doesn't dare to. But it didn't shut that big mouth of his. Hmm. I heard that someone's looking for men willing to do anything. Do you know anything about that? Willing to do anything? Meaning what? Something filthy like helping the knacker? I wouldn't know. Go and ask someone else. That's not what I meant, but all right. May the Lord watch over you. And this is the guy who probably is going to be having the juiciest information that... Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, let's right now try what with you this on. Begin with Nothing this. special. Just a little evening wrestling. It's good for your back and digestion. <laughs> and your purse too, if you know your business. Okay. The Tanner sent me. He says you've been causing a commotion at night, and I thought I might convince you to stop. Ha! <laughs> so all his whining finally found a friendly ear, did it? Let me tell you something first, Welp. I'm the bailiff's man, and we're not doing anything wrong here. Old Letterman's only been whining like that since he lost a bit of silver. Didn't bother him before that. He told me different. Of course he did. Otherwise, no one would help him. Go ahead and ask the lads. They'll tell you the same. It's God's honest truth. I'll take you at your word. But what should I do now? The way I see it, you've got two choices. Screw that old liar and leave him be or get down to business. Double cross the tenor? Really? <laughs> Fuck the tenor. Well, mm, I don't want to do that to him. <laughs> Get down to business? Well, he's kinda aiming towards having a fist fight, but I'm really bad at that. So that's not a good idea. In warfare, or basically in threatening, I wouldn't even beat him on the score checks in there. Double cross the tenor. Mm, don't exactly want to do that, I would like to speak to him first. What do you mean, get down to business? Well, you may think you're pretty tough, and if you give us all a thrashing, we might think it over. But then again, we're no strangers to a hard fight. If but I if I can use my bow, for example, I could be beating you, but you? otherwise I don't think but so. But I'm a fair fellow, so I'll make you an offer. If you enter our tournament and win, 
which means beating us all, then we'll go elsewhere. If you don't win, then you're flat out of luck and have to leave. That's not so bad, is it? Huh. Interesting. I'm looking for work. And well, I'm going to talk to them first then. Men. Do you know anything about it? Hmm. I've heard they might be looking for a new knacker. So if you're not afraid of carcasses and the occasional pile of shite. Thanks, but no thanks. Word has it someone's hiring mercenaries and other fighters. Ah, well, you've heard more than I. Hmm. Okay, he trains in fist fighting, yes. And how does it all work? That's gonna be a battle tournament. I'm not exactly interested in that. So I guess, good information. Thank you, guys. And let's go talk to the dude. And find out a bit more details, apparently, than from him. This one. I'm at your service, Sir Knight. They told me a different tale. Said you went there to fight of your own free will and lost a good deal of silver. Is that the way of it? I did go there at first, but they cheated. And when I caught them cheating, they beat me. And now I have to hear that racket every day. Hmm. Hmm. Not much information to be had here. Ah. Oh. So we kind of have to decide if actually he is really full of crap, this tanner, or if those guys are full of crap. So I'm kind of having, having a feeling that it might be really true that he basically tried to make money, it didn't work his way and he claimed that they were cheating. So I kind of kind of tempted to side with the guys, even though they are really annoying, so it would be probably good. To get them somewhere else, but getting into a fist fight with them, that's really kind of stupid. Not something that I would want to get myself involved in. Let's go there at first, but they cheated, and when I got them cheating, they beat me. Now I have to hear the attack it every day. Hmm. Strange, 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 strange. We'll be like to actually know how those dialogue options are gonna be continuing because sometimes in this game you actually the dialogue options are leading to something different than you would be thinking let me take care of them that will be resulting into the tournament and basically having to beat all of them one by one so yeah i'm not gonna be doing that anyway Hmm, but telling him straight up that I won't help him, it's kind of strange. Uh, because I don't fist fight at all, I don't really fight those things. I try to play like a good character or whatever, so I don't involve myself in such weird things. So I'm gonna say this, but... I probably won't finish the quest, I guess, unless I find some more information. Oh, let's say I won't help him because I really think he's full of crap. Help you. Maybe if you're lucky, they'll lose interest. May the Lord watch over you. Yeah, I really think it's his problem. That story that they pulled doesn't seem really all that impossible, and. If they cheated, who kinda knows? Who kinda knows? But based on this guy. How many fucking times do I have to tell you? You landed on his face with your ass so hard the ground shook. You're an ass. You'd better hope I don't shake you. All I'm saying is that. Okay, let's see here. You fell on him and then sat on his face. You too! I've already told you what really happened. So we all saw it wrong, what really happened then? I knocked him down, and he pulled me down on top of him. I slammed him with my hip, not my ass. <laughs> I just don't know. Looked to me like you had his nose right between your nether cheeks. You little piece of shit. You wanna have a go? Why? Don't fight. <laughs> okay. Take care now. 
Hey, just random brawlers, but yeah, well, let's leave it at that, I guess. Because I'm really not interested in really fighting, especially for a guy who quite probably is not telling the whole story in that. And were they cheating, weren't they cheating? Kinda tough to say. But yeah, well. Well, well, well. It seems like the story is not exactly all that much true. So right now it's getting quite late, but we need to wait all the way tonight to go along with the main quest. That is actually gonna be continuing with the church. Not really thought that we need deep into the night. And I don't think there's anything else in the meantime for us to do anywhere close by, because I said we need to go all to Rataya. All the way to Rataya or town back, which is like completely different parts <laughs> in here. Rataya there, it's gonna be a few hours to get there and back. Town back pretty much the same. I guess you might be going to get some dinner here at the end, for which we are going the wrong way quite a bit, and then wait into the darkness a bit, I'm assuming. If I remember correctly, I really don't have anything else here. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Alright, so give me your dinner, lady. And dinner is gonna be something better. Let's buy roast chicken, for example. That is gonna be 414. Uh, that is 88. So I'm gonna guess that roast chicken. With. What do you have? Bread roll? I guess. Can I sit here, good sir? Yeah, seems so. <laughs> and since we are kind of sitting here, we might probably wait to wait here as well. Right now thinking if I need to de uh, deposit something in my trunk. I probably do. Yeah, I'm having the axes. They are kinda really heavy. And I want to deposit them into my trunk. In the other inn. Oh, damn it. Get up, boss. Get up. Yeah. In which case, let's head there. And if maybe, well, the room didn't, wow, oh, right into the roof in there. <laughs> These corners are definitely one of, my, one of the biggest dangers to me. Keep falling to them all the time, I'm trying to cut the corner, but cutting it, cutting it too much. Yeah. <laughs> and then fall into my uh, doom almost. Uh, but yeah, to finish, I bought the room at about 4 or 5am, something along those lines. In which case it could it should be mine for the rest of the day as well, I hope. Let me just leave pebbles here. Oh well shut up. Oh, it did expire then. Alright. It India did expire. Well in that case I might just as well buy it. Because I think I'm gonna be sleeping here anyway. Uh, yeah, well, I probably could eat the dandelion, but Certainly. not sure if it's gonna if it would be that good. For how long? And it would be probably any kind of just the one nourishment all that much. I expect. No problem, but you pay in advance. Awesome, I'm not gonna be getting beer because I don't drink alcohol, and I'm not gonna be drinking it in the game anyway. 
You've Rather. got it all to yourself. I do. No one will so no alcohol you. for me. Not trying to get any, even any kind of potions and hey such there. that are alcoholic and that improve like your fighting skills and whatever. Ah, yeah, right now it's open. Okay, so what do we have on pebbles that you want to deposit the axe? But maybe I actually want to use that. Uh, so where is my bailiff's mace? 2 and 61 and the axe is not having that much blunt damage but it's having slash and step damage. Animal strength of 11. How much do we have? 11. And when we are... Yeah, we have actually enough. When we are in wilderness. We're gonna be in wilderness one extra strength. So we can use that axe if we want to. But I kinda like to use the mace quite a bit, but I'm gonna be keeping the axe just in case, because it's kinda interesting weapon. In this case, it's gonna be staying with me. And what do I want to put somewhere? Okay, this is coming into, into our trunk, the same as the rings. And a lot of those potions, because they are really kind of expensive. Cheap wine I can probably throw away. I'm having just basically this fine wine. I kind of keep him because that's exclusive wine. And you kind of never know what kind of guests you're going to be having somewhere. So maybe for well, that could be useful. <laughs> a hero drug potion and a lot of marigolds. We don't really need all that many of them. So let's just like keep one here. I mean one in the matter anyway. Fine wine, yes, that is there. Some potions I'm gonna be keeping. But otherwise, the broken arrows, I really don't know why I'm still keeping those. We just throw it away. Miniature some treasures. And all those heights. And sheepskin, even. Okay, so I think that's all from the horsey. Right now he's gonna be able to carry about 60 kilograms. That's gonna be quite enough for yeah, a bit of loot in. Okay, so let's deposit everything that we right now don't need. The bandit's ear still here. <laughs> Should be really putting it in for a reward. It has to be starting to smell because that's already here for like at least week of game time at least. It's really there for quite a bit. Coming in cherries, it's gonna be all quite nice treasure for a potential home in the in the future. Move heavy battle axe. Pretty much can move it as well. The Ventica Groshans, you have a really lot of money at this point. Luckily it doesn't weigh anything, so it's not like a problem in that regard. But Marigolds... Oh, I screwed that up, the Marigolds. Yeah, I gave you only one. In, in that case, I'm just gonna be putting both of them here. And I should have done it the other way around, damn it. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, deer hides. Cheap skins. Two silver rings. Gonna be having a lot of rings already. And no potion that can be... I'm gonna be keeping it as a... <laughs> as my failure, as a reminder of, reminder of my failure in alchemy. <laughs> but otherwise, I think that's pretty much it. A lot of these sages here. Hmm, probably gonna sell a bit. Because I'm not entirely certain how many do I need for activating the perk for more charisma. I'll have to probably test it out. Uh, so yeah, that's it.
Okay, so it's a got time good spend actually because right now already sun is going down. We can go back and wait next to the church to see what's up with the mercenaries in there. It's gonna be a advance in the main quest. I want pebbles to listen properly. this guy uh, that is like a normal trader I guess so yeah, it looks like a normal trader okay let's type pebbles here and we're gonna be waiting for the church to somehow do something interesting but anyway in the meantime where are we gonna be sit <laughs> in the pillory? Can we like sit somewhere here? No. <laughs> We're just thinking to be kind of fun. Like some kind of attraction. <laughs> For the locals, but apparently not. Hello, Bailey. Do you have something to say to me right now? Because you weren't exactly helped tonight. last time around. Kind of thinking that you are maybe like on it and in cahoots with the bad guys here. This is a oh well, this is a good option actually. Talking to the bailiff here about really his guys actually you fighting in there. Go to the quarry to fight. That's good. Why should it bother me? You call it fighting, I call it training. Once they start smashing heads with sticks or stabbing each other in the back, then I'll intervene. But until then, and you don't mind that they wager on it? Seems to me that's less of a sin than wagering on dice. I've nothing against one of those fellows earning some extra money if he's good. I might have to hire them to help out in town if there's any more trouble. So you don't plan on doing anything about it? What concern is it of yours? If they start brawling all over town and attacking people, then there'll be cause to take them in. But for now, let them keep fighting. Hmm, okay. So it's for a moment thinking that maybe I could have resolved the quest a different way. But apparently this guy doesn't really want to do anything. He really seems to be a really sucky bailiff. <laughs> he really is living by... Like, don't do anything, and you won't screw anything. As his basic motto, it seems like. I've heard talk about your knacker. What's my neighbor being up to this time? Digging up corpses again? Or robbery? Did he do that? Oh. No, he didn't. But people thought he did. His house is nearby, between the rat house and the church. He's a decent man, a good man. But he's the knacker. And the grave digger. That's good to know. Alright, so nothing really much to get from you, which can I just want to sit somewhere and basically just... You know, okay, let's just loiter here, for example. About two hours, I guess. Until it's night, because it should be in night, or rather at night. And we're gonna be knowing if they're in, the mercenaries, when the church's windows are glowing. Alright. So far there are not... Or th there is some light. There is a bit of a light glinting in there. Alright. Let's have a look then. Mm, kind of risky going there without pebbles. But I'm having a sprint perk. So I should be able to get away from them fine. If... Things came to worst. Uh, I took the long route, didn't I? Yeah, I think I pretty much did. Oh well, let's take a bit of a jog.
I like coming to the church or What? Go and get a light before someone calls a guard on you. Oh well, I don't exactly want the light here. Oh yeah. Somebody's certainly inside. And from what I remember, oh well, apparently somebody's digging a grave here. What I remember, I should be like praying and then they will be coming to talk to me or something along those lines. Well, that's a nice church. Nice murals. Hey, so there are gonna be some backers. Pedro Ivo Mariano, yeah. <laughs> that's a backer from Kickstarter. Not really, some really nice, really nice pictures and decorations. Hmm, exactly how it was back then. For us, eh? What is it you want? Probably didn't have to go there in my Waffenrock. I hear you're hiring men who don't mind getting their hands dirty. <laughs> is that giving so? up that I'm like servicing some of some lord. Taverns and the like. People talk. Well, that's a pretty Probably wasn't tale. the cleverest of idea. But no one in any tavern told you to come here and wait, did they? So let's have it. Who told you? I don't recall his name, but he was one of your friends. He said that he couldn't take me straight to you, that I had to go through the church. He was right about that, but he still said more than he should have. I know my way around. You won't go wrong with me. Spare me the boasting. I've got a test ready for you. Let's see how you handle it before you tell us how wonderful you are. What test? Nothing complicated. We used to take anyone who looked like they could keep their head on straight, but not now. Now you can only join if you do what we tell you. Which is what? Steal something? Nah, not theft. If you want to join us, oh. you have to kill Pius. Who's Pius? And why should I kill him? That's none of your business. But I'll tell you anyway, because it's an instructive tale. Pius was one of us, but he fucked up. How? Did he steal something? Yeah, that was part of it. Stole some money, ran away. A few boys died over it. Showed a distinct lack of loyalty. And as soon as he's dead, you can join us. Hmm. I'll we'll have to find him first. <laughs> well, I don't you plan don't to kill to him, but him. probably some deal will have we to be made, or rather, will be able to be made. Yourselves? It's quite a test. He's hiding in a monastery. With the stable oh. boys. It's not hard to get into the grounds. <laughs> no, not there. Well, he would have been dead long since. He's in the, uh, cloister. Or whatever it is. Oh. But only monks can get in there. <laughs> Just monks and pious. He's an educated bastard. Seems he used to be a priest. But it didn't quite work out. Hmm. Alright, so yeah, to infiltrate a monastery and kill a monk. Yeah, that sure is gonna get, go easy. <laughs> Don't you have any other test? <laughs> That's a nice question. Well, how am I supposed to get into the cloister? You'll think of something. Maybe there's a secret passage. I've heard there's some cave underneath. The cave of St. Procopius. Yeah, I've already been there, there but it doesn't really lead anywhere. And do you have any other ideas besides secret passages? Well, there is this one fellow been hanging around the taverns. Supposed to join the monastery soon. Might be he could help you somehow. I'd try talking to him if I were you. And if he doesn't help, knock him on his ass and take anything he's got that you could use to pass yourself off as him. A letter of admittance to the monastery, or whatever. Hmm. Murder someone in a monastery? Have you gone mad? <laughs> Murder's a sin as it is. Doesn't really matter where you do it. Yes, it does. Oh, that's a solid logic. I'd be spilling <laughs> blood on hallowed ground. <laughs> well then, knock him senseless, drag him outside, and finish him off where it's less sacred. 
I don't give a damn where you do it, just as long as he ends up dead. Hmm. This is gonna be an interesting cast. We're not hiring stable boys. We want men who are prepared to do anything. And this is the toughest task we've got. So how many men have you already sent? Yeah, just a handful. And what happened to them? Did they hang? Ah, just the first one. The others turned tail. Guess they didn't have the stomach for it. How will I recognize Pius? He won't have been there long. He should be the only new one there. But what if there are others? What does he look like? Normal. Uh -huh. He always went about well dressed and had a fine looking dagger. Yes, except he'll be given a robe and they'll take his knife. Then you'll have to try and figure out which one of the novices it is and get him to betray himself. Try getting him drunk. Then send him straight to hell. Get him drunk? In a monastery? <laughs> Where better? There's more wine there than in the royal cellars. And I doubt he suddenly stopped drinking. Okay, so that is gonna be another cover quest. I'm probably gonna accept that, but I won't be really killing anybody or won't be planning to kill anybody. I will probably talk about it with whoever gave me the quest, which was probably Sratsek, I think. I will try to see so I've got to how far I can go in it. He's in the cloister, and to get into the cloister, I'll need to enlist the help of some boy who's joining the order, right? More or less. And now the main thing. The main thing is to kill him, isn't it? <laughs> of course. But that's not all. All hell's gonna break loose in the monastery after the murder. So, either make sure nobody finds him, or hightail it out of there quick as soon as the job's done. But better if they don't find him right away. And what else? Should I come back here afterwards? No, no. Before you run for it, take his special dice and bring it as proof that you killed him. And if you can get him to tell you where he hid the coin, bring that as well. Bring his dice and the money if I find it. And where should I bring it? From the monastery, head east across the river. There'll be a swamp where you'll find a fire pit. Go there at night and light a fire. Make it nice and big and we'll show up. Take the dice and the money, and then tell you where to report. Got it? Right, I'm to slip into the best guarded place in the entire region and kill someone. Take his dice and money, and then go to the swamp and wait by the fire. <laughs> yeah, that's Good the plan. idea. Solid plan indeed. You can at least say a few Hail Marys for him. <laughs> I'm gonna need all the help I can get. <laughs> and remember, we'll be keeping tabs. So don't you try to win off, alright? Take care. Well, 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 that is gonna be a challenge. Probably this also could have gone if I said no. I'm thinking we would have been entering a fight which would have been really kinda bad. I would have to somehow get away from them quite a bit faster than yeah. El Ratzik, yeah. Okay, so Ratzek is the one who actually told me that's definitely something that I will have to talk to him about because I will I will go forward. Without, of course, killing anybody and something like that. But, oh my. Oh no! On the wrong side of the door here. So, that, that still means that I need to go to Rataye. Yeah, because Ratsek is at Rataye, if I remember correctly. Uh, this was open. Oh, can we actually even close it? We cannot. Alright, so let's just right now have a look. Doctor young man who's supposed to enter the monastery. Yeah, enter the monastery as a novice. That's what all the bandits want you to do. That is certainly gonna be happening. So I kinda am going into the B. Right now I'm gonna be heading into the inn to sleep there. And talk to the novice apparently. And then going to Saratsek. Alright. 
Oh, where are we? And the way out is here, this way. Definitely curious what this quest is gonna bring because that seems like a big one. <laughs> it's like a rather big one. Uh, too early. Yeah. A bit more as the bridge. And a glorious starry sky. Park the bus. And we stay in here, and we need to find the young dude. Should be eaten enough. Okay, that's quite fine. What are you doing? Townsman, townsman. So is he like inside completely? here right yes he is so maybe he is also in his own room could be the case maybe did I miss him here did I no these are all townsmen and townspeople but I did notice a dude a bit before who was actually walking into this room so maybe that's him Sorry, I'm just gonna check on you. No, that's a fresco master. Apparently it's quite... Sorry for waking you, boy. Quite a bit... <laughs> a hot night, he's having even open door. So this is mine. Uh, this is Sir Ulrich's. The brave late Sir Ulrich. And apparently already there are some new people here. Guardian Manfred and Karl. Is that like gonna be him? Sorry. You don't want to disturb. Continue sleeping. Maybe in the morning. Maybe in the morning then. Alright. Eight hours. Good eight hours of night sleep. <laughs> 